let's see if I'm live initially. I'll just quickly check on my phone because I want to be sure I actually have audio here. I know I was listening to music before, but that doesn't intentionally mean anything. So let's let's just quickly do this. Check if I'm live. Ignore the noise around me. Um, so let me just check. It seems that I'm live. Let me see if I have sound. Noise around me. Okay. I do have sound. So I'm going to watch the live from my phone just in case anybody jumps in. But this is a client video, so I'm guessing... Um, I'm guessing it won't help, so uh, nobody will, will be interested. But anyway, a client just recently asked me to show them how to change the logo size in in Divi. And also, I'm going to just show them how to change the favicon as well. The site, the site is still under construction, but um, I'll just quickly show the client how to do this. So first of all, the client sent me a logo that looks like... I've already fiddled with it, of course, but I'll show you. There's still some fiddling that I need to do. Uh -huh. So the initial file was JPEG, which means because it's JPEG, transparency will be lost. For transparency to still be there, it has to be PNG. You can solve with that. But what you can see is the, the client has a blackish logo, and there's a little drummer man right there. So initially, when I stuck it in, because the design had a different black than the black background. That's what came out. I've now switched the background to actual black. So it looks normal, but again, the man is too small. So <clears throat> this is how I would fix this issue, assuming that the logo is actually correct. I'm going to zoom out because I can't really see what I'm doing. The reason Divi can't make the logo grow is because you're wasting space with a black. So basically, you have to cut it as much as possible in terms of not using like the black bits. Shoot, I didn't cut it correctly. Um, <clears throat> but because the client's going to change the image himself, it's fine. I'm, I'm just going to do it a little magic trick here. Oh, shoot, I didn't cut it. Again. Let's try this again. I keep losing the smoke for my little man here. Let me just assume it's here. There we go. And also, I'm, I'm not trying to leave too much space under the legs. That makes sense. Okay. Can live with that, although it's not exactly the way I want it, but okay. I can live with that anyway. So let's just crop this. Actually, you know what? I could just crop the uh, this whole thing because I just need one bit of square. I don't need any black. That makes sense because I'm already using the menu bar from Divi to keep the black going. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just shoot. Sorry. My hand isn't done for, isn't used to doing graphics. So let's just say I just want this because I don't need the sides either. So I'm just going to crop it again. Crop again. Boom. Now that is a logo. And actually, because if I, it's not exactly square, but I mean, someone with a more precise hand will do this much better than me. But let's just say that this is what I want. So save as. Uh, I'm just going to say PNG. PNG will keep transparency, assuming this was transparent, but it isn't. So <clears throat> anyway, I give it a new name because if you give it the same name, WordPress might not replace it if you're not using specific plugins to do the replacement. So let me just save this on desktop just for fun here. And then I'll go to Devi and I'll just go to dashboard. <clears throat> So let me just go to theme options here, and I'll just quickly upload this new image that I've, um, so I'm just clicking reset here and uploading. Remember to use a different name than the previous one, just in case WordPress does decides not to um, replace it. So 
I think I must have saved it into some folder of a project that I was working on before starting the video. So let me just close these. Let's see where it went. Oh, no, it went onto my desktop, but I just didn't see it, it seems. So okay, I dragged it in. And you'll see it even looks bigger now that I've put it here in WordPress. Anyway, so now I'm just going to go down, ignore the code and stuff that's there. Don't touch any of this. Click Save. Because your developer, in this case me, has written CSS there. So just leave it at that. And as you can see, the logo is now bigger than it was before. But you could go to Dashboard, Theme Customizer, And in theory, what you should do is go to uh, header navigation, primary menu bar. Um, as you can see, make sure that the logo max height is at 100. Usually, Divi's default is something like 54, which is not right. So just patch this in as 100. That's fine. And then you can move the menu height, which will allow the logo to grow because the container is growing, right? But be careful because it makes your website look thicker. So for this, I'm just going to put it back to normal. And the client can then decide the height that they want. Sometimes I have the tendency to use 120. Uh, it's not a, it's not a, you know, it's not anything specific. Other people might not like 120 because it makes the menu bar sort of thick, if that makes sense. But for me, 120 is fine. If you don't like 120, you can... You can change that there. That's about it. The next thing is this little icon that says WordPress on the top here where my mouse is right now. You can put in a favicon to sort of go with the website. Now, um, I'm going to try and put in this one that I have. But remember that the favicon has to be square. So I'm just going to go to general settings, site identity. And it actually tells you that it should be 12, uh, 512. 512 so anything square can do this isn't square i'm sure because my hand is shaky you can tell it's not really square but anyway you can select it and it will tell me to crop it into a square which is fine because it's actually taking away black maybe i didn't cut the smoke out right but if i say crop the image it will put that image inside of the customizer and then you just click publish and you are good to go that's how you resize um, your logos in Divi, especially if you're using the default Divi um, header. If you built on your own custom header, you need to do sort of the same thing, but in a different way. For this client, this is enough, and I don't need to explain anything more. That is how this would work. So that's it. Icon looks great. Whoever made it is awesome. But yeah, uh, I use the black because the feet of the guy is black, but uh, the drummer, the drummer guy. But um, I like it. So far, so good. And because the icon isn't transparent, you can actually see the black on the favicon as well, which I don't mind. It's fine. It looks OK to me. It's up to the client now. You'll know how to change these little favicon and the icon on the website and that should be enough for him to work for now short and sweet but that's about it guys if this was helpful you can like subscribe share whatever um you're welcome to um check out more of my divi videos if you think they're helpful if not that's fine anyone that wants a specific video feel free to comment and suggest one or email me if you can find my website the info for my website is somewhere on the about page of youtube i guess uh, you can go into my videos. I have links to blog posts that I wrote for specific issues. So that will lead you to my website as well. Uh, feel free to hit me up if you need me to show something more specific. This is a little beginner, but because it's for a client, it's obvious that um, they aren't like a web developer. So this isn't for people that actually do websites with Divi. It's not a solution for that kind of person. If you have any kind of video, though, that you want, feel free to hit me up and uh, tell me what you need, and maybe I'll make one. You never know. Thanks for watching.